Yes, I'm back. And I would like to talk about this demonic, savage, devil, Florida man who raped an uh, intoxicated, unconscious woman behind a trash can in a restaurant. My first question is, why are you raping people? Especially while they're drunk and can't fight back. What's, what's wrong with you savages? Man, I feel like all these people need to get the death penalty, by the way. And this is actually called on video again. And y'all always taking people behind a dumpster. Like, y'all just straight up trifling. But I digress on going it for a moment. Let me, let me read this article to you guys. And of course, it's in the description. You can check it out for yourself. It says, a 34-year-old man was captured on video raping a 19-year-old unconscious woman behind a trash bin outside a Florida restaurant, police said Friday. The video shows Christopher Shaw raping the woman earlier Thursday before two witnesses separated them, said Gainesville Police Department spokesman. He said the video was taken by one of the witnesses. Shaw was charged with sexual battery. And jailed on a $500,000 bond. Let's pause and analyze that right fucking there. You see, we, we got to look into the words they use and the light, the light charges they charge Europeans with. You see how he gets charged with sexual battery and not rape? Because if he was a minority or an African... He would have been charged to the max. Well, he sh which he should have been. I'm not excusing anyone from rape. If you rape anyone, no matter what color you are, you need to get the maximum sentence. But you see how there's a double standard and an unfair playing field in America when it comes to minority black people and Europeans. But I digress on that for a moment and continue to read. Jail records did not list an attorney for him Friday. His arrest comes just a week after former Vanderbilt football player was sentenced to 15 years in prison after he was convicted take a part in the gang rape of an unconscious female student. Savage. Straight up devil. It also comes amid the widespread fear over a Stanford University swimmer who was sentenced to six months in jail earlier this year for raping an unconscious student behind a dumpster in the uni on the university campus. And he didn't do that whole six months, by the way. They didn't mention it. But I digress on that fuckboy. Upon viewing the videos, it is clear the victim was mentally and physically unable to give consent due to her level of intoxication. Police reported it on the Gainesville attack said the victim was slumped over and unable to hold her head up. The defendant can be seen pushing the victim back up when pushed back up the victim's eyes were closed and her head fell back against the dumpster. Damn. The two witnesses told investigators, investigators the woman was unable to walk on her own, couldn't keep her eyes open, and had difficulty speaking. The report says when a woman regained consciousness at a hospital, several hours later, she told police she didn't know Shaw and he had no consent to, to sex with her, with him. According to the report, she also said that at one point she attempted to push him away and, she, and told him no, but was physically physically helpless because she was going in and out of consciousness due to our level of intoxication. The Associated Press does not generally identify victims of sexual assault. According to the police report, Shaw told investigators she was walking through the alleyway and the victim pulled him victim pulled him next to the dumpster. Vic, the report says he admitted to making out with the victim but denied any sexual contact with her. You're on fucking video. What the fuck? Uh, Alright, let me continue. The statement is completely contradicted by the video and the victim's testimony. The police report says last Friday, former Vanderbilt football player Corey Batty was sentenced to 15 years in prison after convict being convicted of taking part in the gang rape of an unconscious female student in June 2013. Last month, a judge sentenced former Stanford University swimmer Brock Turner six months in jail and ordered him to register as a sex offender for life after a jury convicted him of rape, raping a student behind a campus dumpster in January 2015. Prosecutors had sought a six-year sentence, a lighter sentence, prompt charges that 
the white judge let Turner, who is white and wealthy, off easy because the judge also plays sports at Stanford. The judge cited Turner's clean record and affected the conviction will have on his life. You see what I mean, people? When when your skin is right, aka white, and you have wealth. You can get yourself out of any situation, pretty much, in America, which is wrong. You see, this guy needs to get the maximum sentence, which I doubt he will, because he's European, and he even got a light bomb, only half a million. But when Rick Ross kidnapped, allegedly, his groundskeeper and allegedly pistol whipped him, he got like a $5 million bond. And he didn't kill or rape anyone. But like I said, you know how that goes when, you, when, you, when your skin has melon in it. You get different sentences compared to when you're a European. This is totally sad. My heart goes out to the victim. And of course, you already know what questions I'm about to bring up. Why isn't this story being brought to the spotlight? Where you at, CNN, MSNBC, Fox. I mean, Fox, they did put a short-ass article on it, which will be in the description, by the way. And ABC put this article, which I'm reading right now. But the story is not being plastered everywhere as it would be if it was a brother in the NFL or NBA any other famous, uh, if it was uh, Bill Cosby or any other entertainer with wealth who was black, this would be plastered everywhere. Uh, Bill O'Reilly, where you at? Feminist group. See, this is what I'm talking about, people. You see the type of division there is? You see how the difference it is when Europeans do crime, which they also lead in rape, which my FBI video, y'all can check out, proves that. You see how different it is? This is totally wrong. My heart goes out to the victim. Her, her life is going to be scarred for life. And then this attorney telling the other savage swimmer, oh, we didn't hit him with the max because we, we felt like there would have been a bad effect on him. And then fuck his life. What about the victim? Who y'all don't give a shit about? Give me that fuck shit. See how evil, evil the country is from the government to the court to the media. It's all evil. They all are in cahoots. They work together. And it's all full of white supremacist, demonic, savage devils. And this is wrong, people. I mean, people, where you at, feminist group? Someone needs to stand up and speak for this lady. Someone needs to stand up and demand this savage be put in jail. For pretty much fifty years, my uh, he should get a lot of years. Cause if he would have, if he was black, and he had a little a couple grams of cocaine on him or crack, y'all have threw the book at him. But it seems like when someone rapes a motherfucker, oh, he can just get six months and some counseling, or he can get four years and let off in like a year and a half on good behavior. It's wrong. It's very wrong, and. We need to, we really need to get on the, um, these laws and we need to really get some of these laws changed because this is very wrong and sad. But let me know what y'all think. Get in the comments. Check out the article in the description. Like, subscribe, share the video.